Today we're going to take a look at Pine Acres in Oakham, Massachusetts. Come and join us. Pine Acres Family Campground here in Oakham, Massachusetts is a prime campground. When I, what I mean by that is it's a resort in and of itself, self-contained. There's nothing else you need to go do when you're here. There are activities everywhere, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. If you arrive late, they have a couple of after hours site. You can pull in and wait. They'll see you in the morning. When you first arrive, it is a gated campground and you will be directed to the left where you'll pull up to the gate. They'll give you your information, you'll check in, and then you proceed back into the campground. It's a long single road with a number of branches that uh, branch off left and right. The majority of the roads are paved over, though there are a few, particularly up in the wilderness area, that are dirt and gravel. The sites themselves are very nice, very clean, uh, very accommodating, very wide for the most part. Um, they come with a picnic table and fire ring. They also come with uh, power, sometimes 30 amps, sometimes 50 amps, sometimes 30 and 50 amps. There's water available and there's sewer at most of them. The very top of the hill above the campground are the wilderness sites which come with fire ring, picnic table and water spigot. Some have electricity. And these are mostly for tenting. The campground is a heavily wooded area and as the name suggests there's a lot of pine trees here uh, and then there's a lot of deciduous trees. Um, maple, oak and we had some hickory trees right above our site. The majority of the roads are paved over though there are a few particularly up in the wilderness area that are dirt and gravel. We saw all sorts of rigs here. We saw you know, your fifth wheels, the large toy haulers, we saw travel trailers, we saw little couples campers, we saw pop-ups, we saw class A's, class B's, class C's, uh, just about everything you could imagine was here, including uh, various tent cities that uh, groups were camping in. Their camp restrooms are very clean, but very basic, uh, toilet, sink, hand dryer. This one includes a deep sink to do your dishes in. Yes, dogs are allowed here. Uh, we saw so many dogs at this campsite, more, more than I've seen anywhere else. Uh, the campers on every side of us had dogs. And so it got a little precarious keeping them all apart. They must be under voice command or on a six foot leash. And you have to clean up after them. There are dog cleanup stations scattered throughout the park. And there's a dog park. There are some rules for the dogs. Very good sized dog park with a bunch of activities. He went right over to the mud puddle. And included in that dog park is a dog wash. That's something I've never seen at any place else. That's a, that's a big plus in my book. There is a plethora of activities at this resort. The family arcade and rec hall are underneath the lodge in the back. They also have the Pine Acres Mining Company where you can sluice for gemstones. Reminds me a little bit of the pan for gold at Knott's Berry Farm. They have a couple of playgrounds made of uh, modern equipment. They also have basketball courts and a tennis court and a baseball diamond. There's the crooked house. They've got a jump zone bounce bag currently deflated, a volleyball court, horseshoe pits, One of the other things I saw out here was some kids with their little remote cars driving around on the dirt paths and on the baseball diamond. Back up behind the dog park, they have a bike park. Wear your helmet, all ride in the same directions and pedal slowly over the hills. Be respectful of others and keep a safe distance apart. Looks like they have a couple little nifty pedal carts here. And they have a little campfire zone for group campfires and story times and maybe sing-alongs. All sorts of things you could do here. Yes, there is a lake. 
You can swim, you can fish. I don't know what kind of fish there are, probably sunfish and bluegill, and there might be some trout. I don't know, it might be brown trout or something like that. Uncle John's Bait and Marina Canoe Rentals. Bait and Tackle. They have their own beach. No lifeguard or in duty, swim at your own risk. Where there's no fishing at the beach and no dogs at the beach, but there's also a dog beach that's separate. I didn't get a picture of that. Um, and then there's other fishing areas around the lake that you can go to. There's also a boat launch and they do rent kayaks or paddle boats um, or canoes. Next to the lodge is the country store, which contains a lot of goods that you would need. They have a lot of toys, a lot of toys to keep the children active. After all, this is a family campground. There's lots of children here. Also in the country store, they have, you know, your usual camping supplies, some decorations, uh, things that you would need for your trailer or campsite. Uh, they sell firewood there, buy the bundle. Oh, this is important. You're only allowed to use bundled firewood. You cannot bring in your own. That's a state law here. They also sell a few food items, uh, eggs, bacon, drinks, um, buns. We bought some hamburger buns while we were there. And they sell ice cream. They have a little ice cream store in the back, a cafe. Uh, you can get chocolate shakes there. I didn't, but they, you can get them there. And uh, you can also get uh, some food items, uh, snack bar type stuff. Uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, BLTs, you know, chicken sandwiches, things of that nature. It's a little dining area just behind the store. And of course, you can get ice here. Did I mention they sell ice cream at the store? In front of the store in the lodge, they have golf cart parking. They rent golf carts here. Critters, did we see any critters? We saw a lot of chipmunks here. Uh, cute little things, digging up nuts and stuff. Uh, we also saw a lot of birds and a couple of squirrels. Are there any cons to this campground? Well, the only con that I would say is that it can get very, very busy, very crowded, because uh, there's well, over 300 sites. Um, so yeah, be patient, be prepared for that. Be prepared for walking a lot, a lot if you don't have a golf cart. Would we come back to this campsite? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of booking another stay later this summer. Well, that's my review for this week of Pine Acres. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Smash down on that like button. It lets YouTube know how many people are enjoying our videos and it shows an appreciation for what we do. Also, we'd ask that you'd consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, if you're interested in what we do around the campsites, then check out our other vlogs on the Grand Streeters. Until next time, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the streets.